Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Grigg and I am a junior at Renaissance High School. I was part of the 3D platforming project in the Apps Lab. Our goal when we started this project was to build a 3D platforming hub world using the game engine Unity 3D. We took inspiration for this project from games like Super Mario 64, Banjo-Kazooie, and A Hat in Time to build this short demo. We wanted to build this project because everyone had a strong passion for their creative part in this project. No matter if it was game design, digital art, 3D modeling, or even audio creation. We all came together and decided that building a 3D platform would be a great way to show off all of these talents. Even though we faced many obstacles, like time restraints, bug testing that took a bunch of time, a difficult start with getting the game to even feel right, and of course, COVID-19, we managed to complete the demo of Willow Cremini. The biggest lesson I learned through this project was how to work on a team for a game development project, with everyone on the team bringing multiple different skills to the table. Some of us had zero programming experience whatsoever, some of us had zero art skills, some of us knew how to do a little bit of each portion of the project, but no one on the team knew how to do everything by themselves. It was really fun seeing all these people come together and share their ideas and concepts for this game. One of the most fun weeks building this game was when we all came together and decided to make a concept design of the main character. Multiple artists on our team gave different designs and concepts, and a lot of the programmers took these ideas, figured out how it would work within the game. Our 3D modeler looked at some of these designs, decided if it was possible to do with his skill set or not. And in the end, we came down to this design. It was really cool, even besides the main character, seeing these 2D concept arts become full 3D models in the game. As I mentioned before, another really difficult challenge for us was getting the controls to feel right in this game. As this game was originally planned to be playable at the iLab Fair, a huge focus on us was to figure out what control scheme would make most sense to everyone playing the game at the fair. We pretty quickly decided that most people at this fair would very quickly understand how to play this game easiest with a controller. That's why a lot of the UI in this game is very Xbox focused because that was the controller we were originally planning everyone to play this game with at the fair. And lastly, I wanted to touch on the stages of development this game took. We had multiple progress shots while going through this game and November and December were probably the hardest months for us, mainly because it was difficult just kicking off this game and making it feel like we were building something. It felt like for a lot of those first couple months we were making a lot of concept art and building towards this concept, but the game itself wasn't looking great. And a lot of us were struggling to keep motivation at this point in time. We went on our winter break and when we came back in January, our team came together and decided that a big thing we needed to get right was the look of the game. And that's what we spent most of January focusing on, making textures look right. We completely scrapped the original map. We took parts of it, like we saw, we still have that fence that was originally made in the game. But we took most of the original map and completely wiped it and came up with a new concept for the hub world map. And that's what you see in the final game today. I personally really like how this turned out. It looks really good compared to anything else that we have created in the past. And another thing I would like to note, a lot of the people on this team have little to no experience working in a 3D game development space. Almost everyone on the team had some experience with at least making 2D art or working in 2D programming. The most 3D experience our team had was working within our Coding 2 class. And even then, when we started this project back in October and November, that was just only a couple months into that class. Most of the stuff we had to build for this project was learned by ourselves. We had to self-teach ourselves a lot of stuff for this game. But in conclusion, this game was super fun to make, and it was by far one of the most fun iLab projects I have ever worked on. I want to really quickly mention everyone who worked on this project. Our programmers included me, Joshua Rigg, Dashiell Risco, and Joseph Gerritsen. Our artists include Quinn Robbins, William Allen, and Sally Lico. Our 3D modeler is Stuart Nelson, and our audio designer is Max Ford. I really hope this game can benefit everyone at home right now, everyone stuck at home in quarantine. 
just simply because video games has been a great way for us to pass time in this quarantine. It's been a good way to kind of escape for a little bit. And I really hope this game can help some of you with that, even just a little bit. This game is currently available to download for Windows and Mac. Thank you guys so much for watching, and hope to see you all next year.